What's up everyone, this is your boy here, the FKG401 here, coming at you guys with another video, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, for all the latest news updates, it's going to be a very busy week on YouTube, Wrestlemania week, once we get done with uh, Easter over here, um, I know I wasn't going to do a video here today, but I got a vet on this team after the piss poor performance that um, I saw, and yes, I do apologize if I am going to be swearing here. I know it's Easter Sunday. Of all days, you're not supposed to be venting, but hey, uh, what I saw today on the field, man, unreal. Just unreal. Um, so let me get to the positives here first. I mean, it's been the pitching. When it comes to the series against the Blue Jays, uh, people were worried about the pitching, but they performed so well this weekend, and you look at Toronto, uh, I will say this, their offense is terrifying, especially Vlad Guerrero Jr. Um, Vlad Guerrero Jr. to me, and I was actually telling my brother-in-law this while watching the game, he so reminds me of his dad, Vlad Guerrero, because Vlad Guerrero used to, hit, he had an expanded strike zone. I see that with Vlad Guerrero Jr. This guy has an expanded strike zone. Um, so... What New York did this weekend, their pitching, held them to three runs. That's a positive. The bad news, however, <clears throat> and I do apologize if my voice is a little bit rassy. Um, blame that on March Madness last night, Jalen Slugs, that three-pointer that got contact into the national championship game. Bad news, however, is that this team loses two out of three. And it's your offense. And this was the same offense that you saw on opening day. Um, terrible at bats. It's like these guys want to hit home runs. It's This has been the same freaking shit that we've been seeing with this team for the past few years. They want to hit home runs. But you put out one total run out there. One. The last 17 batters for the Yankees. Only got one single hit. <coughs> what the fuck, guys? Seriously, man. Really? And I know, I apologize, like I said. I'm swearing on Easter, but... This team is fucking utterly trash. It's like, you're out there trying to freaking be a World Series contending team, but you're only fucking getting one fucking run? Unreal. Aaron Hicks, I gotta call you out. You are, right now, number three when it comes to um, the batting lineup. You're hitting third in the lineup. It did not go well. You, out of all of the freaking Yankees out there this weekend, I'll say it. You were the worst. Because you had some of the worst at-bats. I mean, please, Jason Dominguez. Please, freaking, do your freaking magic in the minor leagues. I want to see this kid get called up by the time he's freaking 20. <sighs> This guy is not your number third hitter in the lineup. Really. I mean, sure. The guy walks a ton and he gets on base. But I need somebody better out there at number three. Somebody asked Aaron Boone this after the game. And Aaron Boone, this is his freaking excuse. This is why uh, I kind of want to give him a little bit of a slide this year. I know with all of the hot issues that he had. He wants to mix things up and that Hicks should be fine over the long haul. I'm not optimistic about this. I really ain't. But Aaron Judge, let me talk about him too. Hits a blistering line drive in the first. Uh, eventually that was caught. But other than that, the guy had no chance up there. I know it's super early, but out of the gate... You really want more than eight runs 
in three games from this kind of lineup. Jacobo Stanton, yes, he gets a day off today, but never really came close to a hit in the first two games. I'll I'll say it. I fucking miss Luke Voigt. I know it's early in the season, but this fucking sucked, man. Unfucking real. Unreal. Domingo Gaman was the pitcher in this game. He only lasted three innings. I thought he had a very solid first inning, but after the opening frame, he just got caught in the zone way too often. It's a weird case of throwing too many strikes, and the Jays got to him in the second inning, but I'm not really concerned about Gaman. I mean, he hasn't pitched since 2019. Maybe I'll give him a pass on that. But if this guy continues to friggin' come out and become utterly fucking trash, I'm sorry to say it, man. I think he could lose his starting job. I mean, right now, outside of Garrett Cole and Corey Kluber, you're really looking at a competition for you. Number three, number four, and number five. Because once Severino comes back, one of those guys, I, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to say Tyone, um, he might stay in the rotation. We're, we're going to see what he can do with his magic. Uh, Jordan Montgomery, it's really right now between Jordan Montgomery and um, Domingo Gaman, but we'll see what happens as you progress into the season, but I'll say it like this, my player of the game here, Mike King, uh, the former pitcher at Bishop Hendrickson High School up here in Rhode Island, he was a star in this game. I mean, he saved the bullpen. He really did because you had the Wiser pitch yesterday. You had Chai Green pitch yesterday. They were not available. And this guy had six brilliant innings. He only gave up one hit and one walk. And this was the same amount of pitches that Gaman threw. This guy was fucking awesome out there. Um, he showed some incredible improvement from what I've seen in the past. He had four pitches that he used in his arsenal today. Uh, the changeup, I thought, was a nice touch to it. And he pitched with confidence, and it was Awesome to watch. But um, I, I know I've been critical with Mike King in the past. But it was really nice to see uh, the performance that Mike King performed today. Uh, it sucks that the way that he was pitching today. That um, the offense couldn't help him out here. But he did save the bullpen. And he did open up some eyes. No question. So, um Two out of three that we lose here. Um, not a good way to start off the season, in my opinion. But, hey, the Jays are good, obviously. But holding them to nine total runs in this series. The Yankees, at a bare minimum, should have won this series. If you're doing something like that, you should have been winning this series. Nope. Offense. You need to wake up. Take advantage of the good pitching. Um, the only guys that looked like they knew what they were doing in this series, Gary Sanchez, even though I have been critical of Gary Sanchez in the past. Um, I've even had people say, oh, man, you're not a fan of Gary Sanchez, you know, because you're a racist and all of that. Um, you know, I don't even want to get into that uh, nonsense. Clint Frazier, obviously Clint Frazier, man, I love what he did in that game today. Uh, a blue base hit, hustling to get to second base. That gave the Yankees the only run. But, hey, this could have been worse. Um, could have, uh, <coughs> we'll see what happens. You know, they could have got swept by the Blue Jays. But, Let's see what we can do against the Baltimore Orioles. I mean, Baltimore Orioles right now. I want to see what they can do outside um, 
with the series that they had with the Red Sox. Um, I'll say it like this. The Red Sox, to me, they've been god-awful trash. Um, I'm already hearing Red Sox fans. They're already freaking sounding the alarm and saying that Alex Cora needs to be fired. I know it's, like I, it's early in the season, but, man, um, the Red Sox, we knew what was going to happen with them this season. We knew that. This was a rebuilding project for the Red Sox, and they're continuing to rebuild as an organization. So, um, that's it. Um, like I said, subscribe to the channel. I do apologize for some of the offensive language that I put in this video, and also <coughs> with my uh, voice being raspy over here. Um, well, uh, hopefully it gets better in the next couple of days, um, so I can be doing these vlogs normally. Until then, I am out and enjoy the rest of your Easter Sunday. Peace.